All right, I have got my favorite spreadsheet application up, and it is time to document my Power BI tenant. VBA boys will be the first uh, up here in my search bar, get my workspace ID. All right, that was pretty easy. And, uh, it's not about to sell. I'm going to type that out. And the workspace ID. All right, don't highlight everything. Uh, accuracy. There we go. Whew, this is painful. Welcome to how to use the PowerShell commandlets for Power BI administration. I'll just say it, PowerShell is awesome, and so is taking care of your Power BI tenant. Microsoft Docs is the perfect resource, though, to learn more, and I'll go ahead and include this link below here of the video. First, so let's go ahead and get you up and running with installing the management module. So down here in our start, I'm just going to type in PowerShell, and we're actually going to select the Run ISE as administrator. So ISE is the Integrated Scripting Environment. Let's go ahead and click that. You might see a prompt that says yes or no. Fantastic. Excellent. Now here within my window, I'm going to go up to view and I'm going to select show command add-on. So now we have all our different commands within PowerShell. And for this one, I'm actually going to type in install. We've got a list here, so I actually want to install module. So I'll click on show details. Fantastic. And then the name here is going to be Microsoft Power BI MGMT for our name, and then I'm going to select Run. Excellent, you're on in, uh, installing the module from an untrusted repository. Well, I trust Microsoft, so I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. And we will let it do its magic. We are done. Over in the commands, let's go to the Refresh button, press that. And instead of install, let's go ahead and now type in Power BI. Oh, look at that. Add Power BI data set, get Power BI data sets, new, remove, set. This is fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and start out with writing our script though. So I'm going to do new script up here in the top left. Or if you go to file, new, control N, if you're a hotkey kind of person. And we now have the scripting window. So thinking about our kind of how do we log into Power BI, we go ahead and connect to the Power BI service. So let's go ahead and copy that. I'm going to click on that, copy here in the right-hand corner. And then we also want to disconnect at the very end. So we're going to select that as well. Copy. Bam. We now have our sandwich. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to select all here within our code. I'm going to actually go up to Run Selection and press this button. And we now see a prompt that says Sign into your account. I'm going to select my name. And then we return my tenant ID and also the username that I just selected, and it disconnects immediately after. Uh, in the example earlier, though, we were actually connecting to the workspaces, so we were getting workspace information, so get Power BI workspace. And we have a couple different options here. We can do a filter, so maybe we're looking for a word uh, first, so think of like an offset, maybe first 10, first 100. And then we also have scope, skip, or user, if you wanted to maybe look at an individual user and actually for this one, I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna do the all starred. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, paste that here in the middle. Let's get Power BI workspace all. Select all once again, run selection or and press F8. There's our prompt, Alex Powers. Awesome. We now have all of our workspace and the IDs, but I don't wanna be staring at terminal all night. So let's go ahead and export this as a CSV. So open my commands. Let's go ahead and see if there's a CSV. Awesome, exports to CSV. In our input objects, and we'll, that's gonna be our get Power BI workspace dash all. Um, if I actually use a pipe though, I can use that as my input. So anything on the left will be input, right can be our export here. So I'm actually using this like no type information, I don't want it to specify. And then my path would be C colon slash temp slash workspaces dot CSV. Now I'm going to copy that paste right here on the right hand side so left is input right is out control a select all run selection pick an account alex powers my tenant disconnected now if i go to that folder c colon slash temp there's my workspaces if i double click that oh it is beautiful there are workspaces and there are ids 
I mean, that was cool, but I think we could probably build something better. I mean, this is cool and all, but I always like building things that are meant to last. If you've not already done so, you can clear your console pane here, start with a brand new screen. And then I'm gonna start out with creating a variable. So I'm gonna do set dot var control space variable, do a dash, I'm gonna call my name, I'm gonna do outpath, and then I'm gonna do a value. I'm actually gonna reference C colon temp. Fantastic. And now I'm going to also create a variable. I'm gonna call it money sign workspaces equals. I'm gonna store the results from get power bi dot workspace dash all. I'm actually split the export CSV onto another line here now. And if we remember our input object, I can reference that workspaces. So workspaces. And I'm just going to copy this kind of as is and we'll edit here our path so we can make it a little bit more dynamic. So at the very end, I'm going to actually create a concatenated string. So I'm going to do a quotation, quotation. And within this, I'm going to do a money sign, open parenthesis money sign, and I'm going to reference our out path. Close that out. And then the file name is going to be workspaces.csv. Close that there. Delete this line right here. And then I'm going to write back to the host window. So write dash host total number of workspaces. And I'm going to do our money sign once again to reference our variables. So this one's going to be workspaces and then the property period count. So how many are there within that object? And I'm going to do a tilde and n for a new line break at the very end there. And then I'm also going to do a read host press any key when complete. Fantastic. And then with this, I actually don't want my disconnect at the very bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up here right before our read host. So then this way we're just waiting on them. We don't want to leave the service account just kind of out there standing. So I'm going to do a quick control S, save this as Power BI Workspace Commandlets. And now I'm going to go to my desktop so you can kind of see this, what this would look like in action. So Power BI Workspace Commandlets, I'm going to right click this, just do a run with PowerShell if you don't already have it set. And I'm going to do a run. We now see our prompt. So if I select my name, signed in, total number of workspaces, and then it's waiting on me to kind of uh, send back the last bit of information here that I'm now done. If we remember, we disconnected before this, so nothing is kind of hanging up. Press enter, complete, done. You are a PowerShell king.